Hello students, in this video we are going to talk about the value added method of calculation of national income. Before proceeding with the method, let's recall the definition of GDP. GDP is the gross market value of all final goods and services produced by all producing units located within the domestic territory during an accounting year. Being gross, it includes depreciation. At MP or market value means it includes net indirect taxes and domestic means we are talking about the production units located within the domestic territory of a country. Now according to the value added method domestic income is equal to the sum total of value added by all productive units in an economy. Now, in order to understand this, first we need to understand the meaning of value added. Let's start with this numerical example. Let's say an orchard owner produces mangoes which he sells for rupees 1000 to a factory owner. Factory owner purchases mangoes for rupees 1000 and converts them into mango juice which he sells for rupees 1500 to the shopkeeper. Shopkeeper purchases this juice for rupees 1500 from the factory owner and he sells it for rupees 1700 to final consumer. Now, according to the value added method, GDP is sum total of value added by all productive units. What is value added? Value added is the addition made by a productive unit over and above the value of raw material. So now let's see how much value is added by each productive unit here. Starting with the orchard owner, since there is no information about the value of raw material, so value added by orchard owner is rupees 1000. Now, since factory owner has purchased mangoes for rupees 1000 and he has sold juice for rupees 500, so value added or the contribution made by the factory owner is 500. Then, shopkeeper has purchased juice for rupees 1500 from the factory owner and he has sold that juice for rupees 1700. So, actual addition or the value added made by the shopkeeper is rupees 200. By adding all these value added, which is equal to 1700, we get domestic income or GDP at MP. You can see that this 1700 is actually equal to the value of final goods consumed by the house. Hold. Thus, according to the value added method, GDP at MP is sum total of value added by all productive units. Now, how do we find out this value added? Value added or gross value added at market price is equal to gross value of output at market price minus intermediate consumption where gross value of output at market price is nothing but sales plus change in stock that it, it is the value of output produced by a firm which could be either sold or which could be kept as the stock now coming to the important steps involved in the value added method step one Identify all the productive units within the domestic territory of an economy. Step 2. Estimate GDP at MP. Now, as we have seen that GDP at MP is actually equal to gross value added at MP by all the firms. And gross value added at MP is gross value of output at market price minus intermediate consumption and gross value of output at market price is sales plus change in stock 
so in order to find out gdp at mp firstly we need to find out gvo at mp and then deduct intermediate consumption now in order to get the domestic income we will subtract depreciation and net indirect taxes further to arrive at the national income we will add nfia to the value of domestic income so in order to sum up the total gross value added at market price first find out gross value of output at market price subtract intermediate consumption and then perform all basic conversion steps to find out the national income let's make it more clear with the help of a numerical example in this example we have to find out the gross value added at factor cost we know that gross value added at market price is equal to gross value of output at market price minus intermediate consumption since gvo at mp is already given so we don't need to find it out thus gva at mp will be 10500 minus intermediate consumption which is rupees 4000 thus gva at mp is equal to 6500 but here we have to find out gva at fc so we need to subtract net indirect taxes from gva at mp net indirect taxes is difference between indirect taxes and subsidies so here 750 is the indirect tax and 200 is the value of subsidies thus net indirect tax is equal to 550 so in order to find out gva at fc we will first take the value of gva at mp and then we will subtract the value of net indirect taxes and this will give us the g now let's come to the another example where we have been given with value of output by different sectors so step 1 is to find out the total gross value of output which is equal to summation of value of output by all the sectors so we will add value of output by primary sector then value of output by secondary sector and then value of output by the tertiary sector which is 120 now step 2 is to find out gva at mp or gross value added at market price which is equal to difference between gross value of output at market price minus intermediate consumption so from total gross value of output that is 120 we will subtract the intermediate consumption of primary sector then secondary sector and then tertiary sector which is 65000 and that's our gva at mp but here we have to find out national income and national income is equal to nnp at fc thus gva at mp or which is gdp at mp is domestic income but here we have to find out the national income so from this gva at mp or gdp at mp we will first subtract depreciation then we will subtract net indirect taxes and we will add nfia to get nnp at fc or national income thus 65000 minus depreciation which is 12 minus net indirect taxes which is 8 plus adding 50 which is nfia we get national income as 95000 next example in this example we have not been given with the value of output but rather we have to find it out so starting with step 1 to find out gross value of output at market price 
we know that gross value of output at market price is equal to sales plus change in stock where change in stock is equal to difference between closing stock and opening stock so change in stock in this case is going to be 78000 minus 82 1000 which is minus 4000 now let's find out the gross value of output at market price value of sales is 65000 plus change in stock which is minus 4000 thus gv over mp or gross value of output at market price is equal to 61000 now we have to find out the gross value added at market price we know that gross value added at market price is equal to gross value of output minus intermediate consumption since intermediate consumption is not given here separately we have to find it out it is equal to the expenditure on fuel plus purchase of raw material so subtracting the value of fuel and raw material from gvo at mp we get gva at mp thus gross value of output 61000 which we have calculated in the last step minus expenditure on power and fuel minus expenditure on raw material we get the gross value added at market price which is equal to 41000 this gross value added at market price is actually gdp at mp now by finding applying all the basic conversion rules we can find out nva at mp fc and subsequently national income now i hope this value added method is clear to you so just recalling the step step 1 is to calculate gv over mp which is sales plus change in stock then finding gv at mp which is gv over mp minus ic and this is equal to gdp at mp there are for the precautions which you need to take in mind production for self consumption is a part of gross value of output though it is not sold but it was produced and kept for the self consumption we don't include the sale of second hand good in finding the gross value of output at market price but commission paid to the broker for sale and purchase is actually a factor payment which will be included as an income value of intermediate consumption is subtracted services of housewife or any other non economic service is not included here so keep all these points in mind and solve as many numericals as you can thank you and have a good day